Good day, church. I hope this finds you well. Today is a good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is an exciting day as we announce that church will definitely be on this Sunday, the 4th of October at the Waterfalls District Hall. We are all encouraged to be there by 9.30. Don't forget your mask. No mask, no entry. And also we'll be subjecting everybody to temperature check at the door and consistent and constant hand sanitization. This is in line with government uh, regulations and World Health Organization regulations. And we as a church are definitely going to follow that. We are encouraged as the saints that as Hebrews 10.25 has always encouraged us to meet and never to give up the gathering of the saints as some are in the habit of doing. So we are excited and we definitely want to see you all there. So this morning, we just want to encourage each other from the word of God. And I'll read from James chapter 4. And for, I'll start from verse 4 from the NIV. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that he jealously longs for the spirit he has caused to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. I'm very encouraged that, you know, even as we draw near to God, He will draw near to us. And even as church is opening, God is really desiring that we meet together as a body, that none is lesser or more than the other. We need each other. And even as we are meeting, we need to come. What posture are we coming as, as a church? Are we coming with a posture of worship towards God? What is our attitude? You know, even as we read there that God is a jealous God. You know, as humans, we are, God does, you know, jealous, jealousy is a bad habit, you know. But to God, it is a good, you know, posture because God is a jealous God. We read about that in, in you know, in Exodus, that God is a jealous God. He desires that we only worship him. And even as we are coming together, we need to come with that attitude that God is the most important thing. We need to come with that attitude of worship towards one true God. When we read in the Old Testament and we read how the Israelites would carve bulls and worship them, and that was termed idolatry, and we can look at that and frown upon it as to say, what were they thinking? But even today, there are certain things that we have carved out in our lives that we have placed much more importance than our relationship with God. It could be money. It could be certain relationships in our lives. It could be anything, our jobs. But God is calling us back to him. We need to draw nigh unto him that he may draw near to us. So this morning, I just want to encourage us as a church that we need to draw closer to God and give him the worship that he desires to worship him, the one true God. Amen.